Hello and welcome to the first episode of Canada, Our History. Throughout this series, we'll be taking a look at important events throughout history, how they affected Canada, and how they shaped the world as we know it. In this first episode, we'll cover World War I. In the years leading up to 1914, a number of European powers began amassing armies, all very aware that their neighbors were doing the same thing. Alliances were formed, and the world held its breath, just waiting for something to happen. This something happened on July 28, 1914, when Serbian nationals assassinated the Archduke of Austria-Hungary. War was declared, and Serbia called on its allies of Russia and France. Austria brought in Germany, and the world war began. Germany then invaded Belgium, an ally of Great Britain. Great Britain entered the war, and with it dragged in Canada. A hundred thousand Canadian men were shipped to Europe to fight on the front lines. World War I saw the first instances of trench warfare in which sides would dig down and fortify positions, sometimes only a few hundred yards from the opposing sides. The, trenches in, the conditions in these trenches were often abysmal, and soldiers would spend months on end living in them. I woke up this morning when someone unknowingly stomped on my rib cage. The reason for this? I was sleeping on the floor, in the only available space we have in our trench. It's not exactly the most comfortable bed, but we deal with it. I guess it's worth it just to get some sleep right now. We've been in this trench for a month so far, and I don't know how much longer I can be in here. We were supposed to be rotated out in two weeks, but nothing has happened yet. It's the third day straight that it has rained now, soaking every soldier straight to the bone. The water in these trenches almost reach your waist and reeks of the flooded latrine holes. The sleeping quarters are too full of water to use, and the soldiers have to sleep back to back to avoid drowning in the cesspool that these trenches have become. Our life is hell. Those are the simplest terms I can use to describe it. Life in the trenches is nothing like what the recruiters told us. There's no honor in fighting. There's no honor in sobbing a man in the stomach and ripping out his guts. Our rations are laughable. You expect us to fight all day and then force ourselves to choke down the sh shite that is our rations? Pig ears and ankles is what I feed my dog, not what I feed a man fighting and risking his life for his country. Heroin stuff. Indeed, and this went on for the majority of the war. It was a tough time for the men on the front lines, but there were also struggles back at home. The war cost the Canadian government an average of one million dollars a day and the average Canadian had to live well within their means to be able to support the war effort. The war eventually ended when Germany surrendered, and peace was officially declared on November 11, 1918. This marked the end of this horrific conflict, and brought Canada into a new age, sometimes known as the Roaring Twenties. But that we'll have to wait for next time, where we'll go over what things were like in Canada in the Twenties and Thirties. So long for now.